Hi and welcome to the Demalat Cookery channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make tray baked Jamaican jerk chicken with roasted vegetables. So this recipe is a real firm family favourite of ours. Packed with flavour but really simple to do. The spice blend we're going to be using from the Demalat range is their Jamaican jerk seasoning. And if you don't have access to the Demalat range of products or you don't use them, then you're going to have to find a really decent jerk chicken rub. Don't use a ready-made sauce. There's far too much sugar and vinegar in those types of sauces. They just don't really work very well with this particular recipe. As usual, a full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video. So let's have a look at those ingredients now and anything else we're going to need for today. So the ingredients for today's recipe, I've got three medium onions, which I've cut into fairly large pieces. Three sweet bell peppers. Again, I've cut them into large pieces and de-seeded them. I'm going to be using some honey. 30 grams, three zero, 30 grams of Demalat Jamaican jerk seasoning or whatever uh, jerk seasoning you're going to use got 100 millilitres of extra virgin olive oil and an extra large chicken so this chicken weighs about two kilos so our first job is just to mix our Jamaican jerk seasoning with the 100 millilitres of extra virgin olive oil so the next step, I've got a large frying pan over a medium heat. I'm just going to add about five tablespoons of this olive oil Jamaican jerk mix. Just bring that up to temperature. In goes the onion. And all we're going to do here is just literally coat the onion. So we're going to be frying it for about two minutes. Just as the onion pieces start to break up, and then you'll know that's done. Last thing to add. The bell peppers and again we're not trying to cook these through it's just coating the vegetables with that fantastic seasoned oil so again just literally another minute just to get everything coated so once we've got all that veg coated Turn the heat off. We take a fairly large oven tray and just empty all of that veg in there. And try and get out as much of this flavour as you possibly can. And just evenly distribute that over the bottom of the tray. Okay, so once we've got that all evenly distributed. So the problem we've got now is that this is going to be tray baked in the oven. And things like bell peppers, they tend to shrivel up and go black on the edges. And no matter what videos I watch or on the television, even the most experienced chefs, when they do tray baked food with something like bell peppers that is quite delicate what the end result no matter how 
good uh, cinema photography is, the lighting, you can always tell that the bell peppers are dried, shriveled and blackened at the edge. So a good friend of mine who's a fantastic restaurateur, he showed me a little trick when you're doing a dish such as this. And what we do is we cover the tray with foil. Just like that. And then we go over and basically just make holes. So what's going to happen now is when we've prepared the chicken, the chicken is going to sit on top of the foil and all of the juices off the chicken are going to be able to soak through into that veg, but the foil is going to protect the vegetables from the heat of the oven for at least some of the time because part way through the cooking process we are going to take this foil off. But this method produces, especially with something like bell peppers, produces really succulent cooked veg that's absolutely delicious and packs with the flavour of the meat that sat on the top. So the next thing we need to do is prepare the chicken and all I'm going to do with a sharp knife is just cut straight down the back of the chicken. And then once we've done that, all we need to do is just flatten the chicken out. One side. We'll then take our tray, place the chicken on top. Take our Damala Jamaican jerk seasoning with the oil and just start to coat this chicken all over on the inside as well. So any excess of that seasoned oil is going to seep through the holes in this foil and flavour the veg as well. Now because the leg meat is tougher than the breast meat and thicker in places, all we want to do is just make three cuts and that will ensure that all of the meat on the chicken cooks at the same time. Okay, so that's the um, tray bake prepared. I've preheated the oven to 180 degrees centigrade. This is then going to go into the center of the oven for one hour. So after an hour, just before we take the chicken from the oven, just going to put into a bowl about 50 millilitres of hot water, not boiling, and about four tablespoons of honey. And just make sure that is mixed in really well. So we take our chicken from the oven, 
smells absolutely fantastic. So I've just got a plate to one side. I'm just going to carefully lift this chicken out and just place it onto the, onto the plate for now. Just take a spoon and just mix all of that in. If you haven't here, but if you've got any excess fat, you feel you've got too much fat in the bottom of the tray, then this is the time to drain some out if you need to. But placing that foil on the top of this veg, I mean it's stayed really nice, soaked up all of those flavours. So that sort of method, that little tip works perfectly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle some of this honey infused hot water over the top. Just mix that in. I've left the oven on because this dish is now going to go back into that preheated oven, 180 degrees centigrade, same as before, for 15 minutes. So now comes the tricky bit, just to manoeuvre that chicken off the foil Get back onto the veg don't waste anything ok we're just going to coat this chicken now with this honey and water And this will just give that slight sweet accent taste. If you just place pure honey on here, it's just going to detract from the jerk seasoning. But this just gives a really nice added bonus to this chicken. And also it will act as a slight glaze as well. Okay, so that's about done. As I said, now back into the oven, about 180 degrees centigrade. I'm going to leave it in the oven now for 15 minutes. Wow. So after 15 minutes, this is now ready to serve. A dish like this, when I've got the family around the, the uh, dining table I always like to present it on a large plate like this and then we divide it up or carve it at the actual dining table because it just adds to more of a family atmosphere so I've got a warmed serving plate a large one so we take our chicken So I've also got some roast potatoes to go with this dish. And I'm just going to position the vegetables around the outside. Okay, so we've got just enough room for some roast potatoes around the outside. I just want to take some of this incredible juice and just put that over the top of the chicken well I know for a fact because I've had this many times that it will taste just as good as it smells So there you go, tray baked jerk chicken with roasted vegetables, 
absolutely delicious dish and very easy to make. Please subscribe to the channel and as usual if you've enjoyed this particular video hit that like button. Thank you very much for watching, I've said it many times but your support is greatly appreciated.